Camila Valieva evoked a standing ovation from the fans at the first Channel Cup. She skated the free program perfectly, did not hide her joy and thanked the audience. At the same time, she extremely facilitated the program and took only second place. But is it the main thing? Bolero, with which Valieva has been performing for the second season, was conceived as a triumphant program for the Olympics. It was the same at all tournaments, except for one, individual competitions at the Games in Beijing. Incredible pressure due to a doping case took its toll on 15-year-old Camila. She flunked that rental. At the first Channel Cup, Valieva said goodbye to this strong program. The last competitive rental came out perfect, a great point for a landmark production. True. This time the free program turned out to be unusually light for Camila. Throughout the season, she jumped five elements of Ultra C in two programs, a triple axel in the short program, a trixel and three quadruples in the free program. This brought several world records, they still belong to Camila, and it is unlikely that anyone will get close in the near future. In Saransk, Valieva changed both programs. In the short program she jumped only a double axel, and in the free program she went for one quad, a quadruple sheepskin coat. Camila has not performed with such content for a long time. For the last two years she has complicated the programs as much as possible, and ultra C jumps were added from start to start. There were no drastic changes, neither in the direction of easing, nor in the direction of complication. The last time Valieva performed with one quadruple was in August 2019 at the junior stage of the Grand Prix in Courcheval, then the premiere of Camila's quad toe loop took place. In the same season, she went on the ice without Ultra C at all, after an injury, she won the Grand Prix final. Despite the simple, by the standards of Valieva, program, the judges generously appreciated the rental, 173.88 points. Just 11.41 less than the record performance at the Russian Grand Prix, although there was a triple axle and three quads. And at the first Channel Cup, she jumped a simple combination of a triple flip, a double sheepskin coat. As a result, for the first time in a long time, Camila lost in technique for the first time in a long time. Anna Shkabakova was ahead of her by 2.32 points, 97.40 versus 95.08. In the components, the difference is only 0.08 points in favor of Valieva. So she's second. However, content is not the main thing in her speech. Much more important is inner confidence and self-confidence that has returned. Perhaps it was for this that the program was facilitated, so that Camila skated cleanly and remembered the champion's emotions. Today, she no longer waved her hand after the final pose but victoriously shook her fist. Coming off the ice, she hugged a Terry Tutberidze with a smile. A powerful performance moved Evgenia Tarasova to tears. Although she played for another team at the tournament, the fans chanted, Well done, Camila thanked. That Valieva, whom we saw all season, returned, cheerful and spontaneous. In kick, the whole team showed the final pose of the program. Then she hugged Evgenia Medvedeva. Perhaps the cup of the first channel was worth holding at least so that the last, Bolero, by Valieva was just like that. That's all for today. If the information was interesting to you, put likes, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon.